Hello everyone, today's video is going to show you how to publish to an SNS topic using Python. So I went ahead and pre-created an SNS topic and subscribed a queue to that topic so that whenever I publish a message, it will get delivered to the queue. This will give us an easy way to verify that everything is working correctly. So if this didn't make sense to you or you don't know the difference between SNS and SQS, I have a great video on how to hook them up and also another video talking about the difference between SNS and SQS, which I'll link in the description section below. So here we are in the console and here's the topic that I've created, calling it test topic. Let's just take a look at this really quick. I'm gonna grab this ARN actually because we're gonna need it later. Uh, if we look down here in the subscription section, we can see that we have a subscription set up already and it's an SQS and it's called a test queue. So let's just go over to SQS really quick and check that out just to verify everything is there. And here is our queue. We can see that we have zero messages available. I'm gonna be switching over to IntelliJ now. Okay, so I just have a basic Python file here, which we're going to use. I also have an environment file, which contains my user access key and my secret access key. Um, for this exercise, you need a SNS publish message permission on your IAM user that needs to be present in order for this to work. So make sure that you have a user with that permission associated with it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need the Bodo3 library. So let's just import that. We need the JSON library for serialization and deserialization. And then we also need my environment file here, which contains everything. Let's just define a main function and we're just gonna call it down here. Okay, so in terms of the body now, first thing we need to do is just define a variable for my topic ARN. So we copied that earlier. So that's the ARN of my specific topic. Obviously you wanna swap that out with whatever yours is. Uh, we also now need to create a client so that we can publish into the SNS topic. So let's say SNS client is equal to bodo3.client. And we need to say it is an SNS client and we also need to pass in some mandatory fields here. So the second one is the AWS secrets, excuse me, AWS access key ID. And for me, that's stored in my helper file there. So I'm just going to say env.accesskey. You can hard code this if you'd like, but uh, highly suggest you use a separate file for this. Uh, second thing is the secret access. And we're going to say env.secretkey. Okay, perfect. And for this, we also need to specify a region. So region name, and I'm going to be using US East 1. Okay, so that's it for setting up the client. Now let's just define the object that we want to actually publish into the topic. And I'm just going to use the uh, Python dictionary object here. So let's just say publish object is equal to, I'm going to use a concept of a credit card transaction. So a purchase or a refund. So let's say transaction ID. And the value is one, two, three. And the amount is a double, let's say $50. Okay, so let's move on to actually publishing the message to the topic. So let's say response is equal to SNS client dot publish. And we need to set some mandatory fields here. So the first one is topic ARN, and that's the variable that we set up here. So let's say topic ARN is equal to the topic ARN variable name. And now we want to set the actual message content. So let's say message is equal to, and now we need to convert our publish object into a JSON object. So we're gonna use the JSON library here. We say json.dumpS and say publish object as the value. And next we want to set a subject. We wanna set the subject to a purchase since this is a purchase. And what this allows us to do is make it such that if clients only care about purchases, uh, maybe some other ones care about refunds, but if they only care about purchases, then they only need to look at the subject to determine whether or not they want to read the body of the message. So this is a quick little shortcut that clients could potentially use. So let's just set it just for best practice. Similar to that, we're gonna set some message attributes. And this is useful if you have clients that are set up using um, SNS filter policies. SNS filter policy makes it such that certain clients will only receive purchase notifications and other clients listening to the same topic will only receive refund notifications. So it's another additional setting that you can set up on your topic and on your subscription. So let's say message attributes is equal to, and the key is transaction type. That's what we're gonna be filtering on. 
And this requires some mandatory things. So it requires a data type and it's gonna be a string for us. And that strings value is going to be purchase. Okay. And that looks good there. All right, so let's actually print out the response now to see if everything is working correctly. So let's say print response. The key is response metadata of the object we return back. And we want to see the status code to see if it was successful or not. So let's say HTTP status code. All right, so hopefully if everything worked correctly here, we should receive a 200 OK after running this. So let's do that. Clicking on run and we receive the 200 OK. Let's go check out the queue now. Click on refresh. All right, we see we have one message available. Let's check out what's in there. Start polling, more details. Okay, what do we got? So subject was set to purchase, that's good. Uh, the message body, transaction ID, these are the correct values, that's great. And yeah, so down here we have the SNS filter policy attribute. So we can see that we set the purchase value and the key was transaction type. So if you like this video, I have a ton more on SNS and SQS on my channel. So be sure to check that out. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on next week's video. Thanks so much, folks, and I'll see you next time.